Planet Side 2 release date confirmed. Wii U headset support. The Witcher goes cyberpunk. Counter Strike Go gets a pro tip series. And Steam Greenlight gets a new concept section. All in today's gaming news. Hello, this is Nightleaf, and you're watching Gaming News. First up on today's gaming news is that Planet Side 2 finally has a release date. It's not gonna be there forever and ever waiting in beta. You know, we're, everyone's waiting for this game to come out, and they're like, we just haven't done a release date. It's now officially the 20th of November. So, that's not too far away. Like, we're in October now, so, you know, we're on the 19th, so it's at about a month away. So, yeah, fair play. Second piece of news for today is that Wii U is only going to support headsets made by Nintendo. Or, you know, like they've licensed to be made by. So, that means, like, in-game chat isn't going to work, just flat out won't work if you haven't bought a Wii U headset. So if they only release, like, you know, like how Xbox and PlayStation, the standard ones, aren't very good, they're pretty shoddy, and then everyone tends to, like, up the game and, like, get, like, special, specially made ones that are, like, way better quality and stuff like that. Nope. Not even going to be able to happen. Like, they are either going to have to make great quality ones just straight off the bat, or they probably nobody's going to use the get in-game chat, which is just going to be a big fail. You know those guys that made uh, Witcher 2? They have announced they're making a cyberpunk game, a cyberpunk RPG, um, called Cyberpunk 2077. Just sounds amazing idea for an, uh, for just a game like there's not they've not released too much on this yet, but The Witcher 2, great game, le many levels of depth, but you know, a cyberpunk version of that, you know, like, a just, even if it just uses, well, obviously the same people are making it, so it's gonna have, you know, CD Projekt Red is the people who made Witcher 2, they're making this, so it should be great. Valve, not long ago, released a, I don't know how to describe it other than basically it's a pro tip section that's gonna be videos of Counter-Strike Go, so like, you playing Counter-Strike Go and you're like trying to get better at it and it's oh it's so hard. No, they're gonna be a pro tip section. So you watch these videos and then, and then you play the game and you'll be better, I guess. I don't know. I can't say that you will straight away, but like you'll be able to learn what the pros know and then so it's gonna basically make it more in depth and stuff and it's just gonna hopefully bring out a deeper interaction and there'll be more of an esports area just within Counter-Strike Go. Finally, another bit of steamy valviness news is that Greenlight originally started off as just hundred, uh, what's it, hundred dollar gate, hundred dollars to get on there. It originally was free, and then because people spammed it with crap, they were like, "Oh, we can't do that." So it's now hundred dollars to get on there, right? Which is fair enough. But then that was because of something else, not because they didn't want people to put stuff on there so now they've got a concept section so you can build a following before you move over to um, basically beyond green light so it's like you pay your hundred dollars on to get onto green light but you can post any game idea you have onto concepts straight up just like off the bat you can just post it there and uh, you know build a following and stuff like that before it's even gone on to green light which is a great idea I feel I feel like that is sort of more balanced out although it's still a bit awkward because there's gonna be people that want to put their game onto Steam but can't afford it like the hundred dollars because they're an indie and then that m makes it all like screwed and completely horrible. That's it for today's gaming news. If you like this video please don't forget to like and um, you know feel free to favorite and definitely subscribe. If you like gaming news I do this every time there's important news that comes out I try to post a video on it and then you know so, so I don't post like full of crap so make sure if you like actually knowing what the gaming news is just to subscribe and then you'll see these videos every time that there's something decent comes out in the gaming world. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye!